Good evening, um, everyone. I um, saw that somebody sent something about me being doxxed, um, and it was interesting because it's okay to be doxxed if it's like for the right reasons or something, but this person was saying that I was against um, the homeless, which is like completely untrue that I was calling them a uh, satanic and vampiric, which is just um, bizarre. First of all, we live in a town that kind of celebrates Satanism. And so I use that sort of, you know, uh, because that's kind of what the town really seems to represent. Good morning, satanic vampiric Olympia. The place that I film is right next door to one of the um, black box houses owned by the famous vampire dentist, Dwayne. Um, and we can look him up too. And we have a gallery that has a lot of very satanic art, body part art. Um, I had done something of YouTube earlier, if you can look it up, about um, this gallery below Planned Parenthood, and it has, I just looked it up now, I had not seen this. This is new. I had some other things that were like little ears and things and necklaces, so Posh Monster was the name of that person. So, you know, it's not like I'm just sort of screaming, oh, satanic vampiric or whatever. I mean, there's definitely... Uh, a reason. Um, also, the Temple of the Vampire, which boasts on its website that it's the largest vampire whatever in the world, is right here too. You know, and you can find their website. Um, you know, that's all there. Um, here's the black house that's next door to their homeless encampment. Also, how can I be anti-homeless if I'm telling them, go and roll at Evergreen? They only had 300 new students this year. They've got about three or 4,000 beds there that are vacant and empty. So you don't have to, if you're screaming at me that you're sleeping by the railroad tracks when there's 4,000 beds up at the Evergreen State College and a lot of hot food for you, well, then how bright are you, you know, if that's you right there? You know, how many brain cells do you have if you are saying that? To call someone that, it's just like, I don't care because you're what? What are you? You're an NCP. Of course I know what you're going to say. You think I don't? You think I don't know this town? You think I care? You fool? You're letting all that go by. I don't ever see you fighting the real fight here. All your tax dollars going to the port. You could be enrolled at the Evergreen State College right now and sleeping in a nice bed. I've seen that place and it was set up with brand new expensive wood. That is a fake homeless place. And if it's real, then I've told you where to go to get a place. Go enroll at Evergreen. You can get free everything there. You can go to school there forever. I knew a guy that was taking like four credits a year. And he was able to just live free for, for years and years and years and years there. And then he ended up getting like a really nice job there. So I'm here to help people out. Uh, and everybody kind of knows that in town, that I've worked with the homeless in the past. But I've also worked with people who were mad at them when they stopped being homeless and when they got jobs. I've seen a little bit further and behind the scenes. So you're going to have to do more to this tough one than put my mug up and call me rude names 
you know, you're the fools. You're the ones that are sleeping down at the railroad track when you could be up at the college enrolled and in a nice warm bed paid for by the government, you know, whatever. <laughs> so anyway, take good care. Have a good night to all out there. Thank you. A shout out to thank you for showing me that somebody's doxing a person and not even like getting the joke. It's like really sad when you have to explain the punchline to people, you know? It's really, really sad. You know, so Femoid, you're a little bit simple there. We got to work on your little IQ. All right? We got to do that. So thank you. Thank you very much for letting me know what's going on out there. Take good care. Bye.